Now the coins we go over in this video are very beat up looking. They're really in not the best condition, but they brought a lot of money. We like showing you these videos because it shows you how obtainable it really is to find one of these coins, get them graded, and sell them for a lot of money. This first example is a 1921 50 cent piece. It's a real United States coin graded by PCGS at a very fine 25. Now 70 is the highest grade. 25 is definitely on the lower spectrum, but because because this one is a rare date, it's a 1921D, this example sold for $1,860. If it was in better condition, it would have brought a lot more money. This is a Mercury Dime from 1916. It has the D mint mark standing for the Denver Mint. Mercury Dimes are genuine United States currency and they're highly collectible. Similar to the previous coin, if this one would have graded higher, it would have sold for a lot more money than $4,800. This is one of my favorite types of Buffalo Nickels. It's a 1918 over 7 D 5 cent buffalo nickel. This one graded by PCGS at a very fine 20. Once again, we know coins like this that are in the mint state grade that sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. This example, they got the VF 20 grade, sold for $4,080. Here's a nice little Morgan dollar that's from 1893 S. It is a $1 coin graded by PCGS at a very fine 25. It's a key date for the Morgan dollar and in better condition, it It'll fetch a lot more money than seven thousand five hundred dollars eight thousand seven hundred dollars for this 1909 s 25 cent coin now this one is a great example of why you should never clean your coin this one got graded by pcgs as genuine vf details meaning that this specific coin got cleaned now it may make the coin look a bit better but if you want to get your coins cleaned we recommend either handing it off to a professional or doing it through a service like ngc as with their conservation service Service. This coin sold for $8,700. $13,200 for this 1944 coin. This one has some environmental damage. It was graded by PCGS as genuine. This coin was accidentally struck on a zinc coated steel planchet. The 1944 coins should have been struck on a bronze planchet, but this one accidentally got struck on a zinc coated steel planchet, and that's why it sold for $13,200. We have a completely free ebook down below that goes over coin handling, grading, and some other fun fundamentals. If you want to check that out, it's completely free down below, but you don't have to do that. We'll see you guys in the next video.